We're looking at a giant war in February right now. Currently, that's the projections with the top people on the earth who claim they're not with uh, the New World Order Combine. Is war in February? Holy hell, my friends. What is going on in Ukraine? Nobody knows. Nobody has any idea what the hell's going on. Nothing that is uh, being told to us in the mainstream media press right now is making any sense. It's all hyper confusion. But let me tell you what I do know. When you start asking questions about something or some aspect of something and then you get banned off of big tech platforms, I'm thinking you're over the target because that's been the track record of what's been happening lately. If you've been questioning the narrative of the election, boom, you're gone. And then we find out months later that, oh shit, that guy that was kicked off was totally right. Same thing with COVID. And I'm thinking the same thing is going to happen and unfold with Russia, Russia, Russia over here. See, you're, you're not allowed to say anything remotely positive. Everything has to be explicitly negative, pooty poot and Russia right now, or you're getting threatened to be kicked off to the platforms. Mainstream media press needs everybody to say that this dude over here is another Hitler and nobody could be on his side or your traitor and we'll freeze your bank accounts and you'll be a terrorism. And of course, the terrorist treason, of course. But anyway, take a look at this story right here. Here we have a situation, Infowars. And I saw this originally on Twitter, but now the Twitter thread has been nuked. Now the guy was just asking a very simple question and you're not allowed to ask questions have a basis in reality and that's why that tweeter uh tweeter twitter twatter is gone well now that's making me think that this is a legitimate story so here we are info wars russian strikes targeting u.s run biolabs in ukraine question mark uh, for years russia has accused the u.s of running biolabs in ukraine that could develop chemical and biological weapons the u.s biolabs are believed to operate in many cities that were recently attacked by russia well why can't we ask that question seems like a very reasonable question does the U.S. run biolabs in Ukraine? No, you can't ask that question. Shut up. No questions will be tolerated. That's a silly question. Banned from the inner zones. Silly bastard. Why? No, because you got to get all of your information. Everything that you're hearing about Ukraine and Putin, it's got to come from CNN or it's illegal. Or maybe even TMZ. That's fucking stupid. I ain't listening to any of you idiots. Look, they're telling you right now. Can't ask questions about biolabs in Ukraine, but you are supposed to just swallow this nonsense that Sean Penn is in Ukraine yesterday? Talking to the Ukrainian president while the Ukrainian military is being decapitated? The Ukrainian military was literally being killed, but the Ukrainian president had time to sit down with this dipshit over here who's totally not a kid fucker? I mean, look at this guy. What is going on over here? That's just too stupid to be stupid. That, that you have to buy wholesale. And this was tweeted out by the president of Ukraine, by the way. He put this motherfucking thing on Instagram. He got time to be doing this shit? You just lost your country, fool. I'm supposed to buy this, right? Don't ask questions about this. Fucking hell. That's how I know it's true. I, 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 again, I don't know if it's true. Conspiracy theory over here. But when they ban you, again, you're over the target, I'm thinking. Is Russia's, quote, special military operation actually a smokescreen to target U.S. biolabs in Ukraine? Holy shit. Speculation on social media suggests that Russian strikes in the Ukrainian military installations could also include U.S. biolabs in the region, as the Russian government has for years accused the U.S. of developing bioweapons near its border. And so this dude, at war clandestine, who's gone, by the way, immediately gone, even the archived uh, Twitter thread, or I guess that was just the thread reader I had over here, that's gone too. Can't find any of this. Thank God this person screen captured it, but this person is about to get nuked too. And I imagine this video is probably going to get pulled down from YouTube because, again, you're not supposed to question the narrative, right? Putin's literally Hitler. The dude who's losing his country is hanging out with Hollywood kid. Right? Don't ask questions about biolabs. All of these maps that you're seeing here, totally fake. We don't have eight biolabs over here. It's stupid for you to think that we would put U.S. biolabs all across Ukraine. That would never happen. Here's one of the maps that's floating around. Here's another U.S. biolabs in Ukraine map. And they're saying the laboratories are located in Odessa. And they got the whole list over here. You see, they go, now, now, it's been debunked. Some twat with a Captain Marvel haircut and smell like piss is telling me, no, we looked, we fact checked it. The U.S. would never do that. We asked them. We called up the U.S. and asked them. They said, no, we're not doing it. Oh, yeah, we're not doing it, huh? It's weird. Because if you actually go to the U.S. Embassy in Ukraine's website, you'll find that we have a biological threat reduction program with Ukraine. This is what they're saying on the website over here. You can go find this. Now, these maps, I'll be honest with you, I just keep finding these maps. I don't know where these maps are coming from. I don't know when they were generated. We'll need the hacker known as 4chan to get the metadata to see, are these images older than 48 hours? Because if they're older than 48 hours, we've got a big problem. Yeah, a real big problem. 
because they line up exactly with all of these places that have been bloated up. But for the debunkers out there, they're saying, no, no, no. We would never do that. Well, okay, well, then explain this to me. We've got the U.S. Department of Defense Biological Threat Reduction Program. It's collaborating with partner countries to counter the threat of outbreaks, deliberate, accidental, or natural, of the world's most dangerous and infectious diseases. Yeah, the, the program priorities in Ukraine. Okay, listen, I, listen, if I'm buying any of the shit that's coming out of the CDC at face value, I understand that you can offset the world's most deadliest pandemic known to man, the COVID-19, with just a piece of paper over here. But I imagine if you're sitting there, and you're doing a, a risk management assessment, and you're looking at, uh, you know, for biosafety, biosurveillance measures, you want to have a, a biological threat reduction program to make sure that the most deadliest toxins and pathogens known to man, the infectious diseases, outbreaks, you're going to mitigate them. Well, then I imagine you need to have a bio lab for that. Imagine you're not just sitting there with a fucking plexiglass shield and a piece of fucking paper over your face. I imagine if you're doing this with pathogens that are deadly, you would need a bio lab. So here is the U.S. Embassy in Ukraine admitting that we've got a biological threat program with them. I mean, holy shit. They need to, uh, look, look. The biological threat reduction program's priorities in Ukraine are to consolidate and secure pathogens and toxins of security concern and to continue to ensure that Ukraine can detect and report outbreaks of the dangerous, caused by the dangerous pathogens before they pose security and stability threats. Well, then you need to have a lab for that. You need to have a lab for that. Are those labs... Right here are those eight labs in these areas. Because if they are in those areas, they've been fucking bombed. Those areas have been bombed. Now, this map down here, we have on-the-ground reports. The dude who put these uh, this thread together over here, he's got actual on-the-ground video receipts, reports of these places being destroyed. We got the smoke coming out of them. We got all that information. So we know that this map is accurate. The question is, because if you overlay it with this one, it's fucking very interesting. When was this fucking made over here? Are there U.S. biolabs in Ukraine being attacked by the Russian government right now? The Russians didn't go around blowing up all of the power stations in Ukraine. They didn't blow up all the rail stations in Ukraine. They didn't blow up all of the ports. They're not trying to subject the civilians in Ukraine to destruction and mass starvation. They have pinpoint accuracy and decapitated the military and they hit all of these key areas at the same time with extreme precision that and they secured chernobyl did they secure chernobyl 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 in an attempt to make sure that uh, these idiots inside ukraine didn't blow it up in an attempt to send radioactive dust all across europe to get nato to come in here and protect them what the fuck is going on over here very weird, very crazy. The Russians, by the way, since 2015 have been saying U.S. biolabs are being put on their doorstep. Right? This is a 2018. Russia claims that uh, U.S. is running secret biolabs in Georgia, another place that Russia hit. Fucking interesting. How weird would it be? See, we're in a, we're in a very precarious position because the U.S. openly funded the Wuhan lab that destroyed civilizations across this planet with this COVID-19 bullshit. Whether it's the COVID-19 virus itself or the reaction to COVID-19, the funding of the COVID-19 virus was done by people like Fauci and uh, that Dasnik person. It was facilitated in China and then it was released accidentally or most likely totally on accident across the entire planet. And now the same people who did that have labs right on Russia's doorstep? That's fucking interesting. These are the old places that possibly were hit. And again, the thing that makes me... I don't want to say I believe this, but I'm leaning that this is accurate, is you can't talk about this. They're taking this off of Twitter right now, and I imagine it'll be taken off of YouTube and Facebook and all these other platforms. And when you uh, see that, you, you have to sit there and ask yourself, you guys don't get kid porn off your platforms this quickly. You've got people who are uh, recorded as children being molested on these platforms, they gotta take Twitter to court to get that kid porn off of these platforms. But you ask if eight US biolabs were destroyed by Russia in Ukraine, that shit's taken down immediately. That's not on accident. Where there's smoke, there's fire. And uh, when you have uh, people being nuked off of Twitter and big tech for disturbing the narrative, I guess you're probably gonna be over a target or some sort of target, but there you have it, my friends. Are there eight U.S. biolabs in Ukraine? Or should I say, were there eight U.S. biolabs in Ukraine and did Russia just strike them? 
very interesting. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. Support channel will be kept up to date on whatever the hell is happening in Ukraine. Hit that subscribe button and make way, because the salt must flow.